In this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about how to work with the categories in the category tree over here within the Amatop Product Analyzer. So once you first start it up here, all you have to do is you select your uh, Amazon site, either UK or um, the US site. So let's go ahead and select Amazon.com. It will automatically load up all the categories within the uh, category tree here. But you can see that there's 37,346 at the time of recording this video for Amazon.com. And for the UK, there's 29,876. So let's go back to Amazon.com. And here are the features you can do within the category. So if you right click, you can actually view the corresponding category. So if you click that, if you click that, it'll bring it up and it will show you the corresponding category and the corresponding source. So let me just show you here. So you can see it shows you the corresponding category arts, crafts, and sewing in the best sellers. So you can see here we had select best sellers and we this is the category we looked at. So let's say for example you selected the source hot new releases and you're in the baby category. Let's just go down a couple subcategories and you're in the lotions. If you right click and then view category, it's going to go directly Oh, sorry, my window went off there. Try it again. There we go. It goes to hot new releases right to that category. So you can actually view those products on Amazon. It's just a little handy feature we put in there. Um, now you can also right click and you can check all the sub. Oh, sorry, excuse me. All the subcategories within that category. So if you do that, it will select them all. And you can see 3,500 and 24 were selected. Now I do want to warn you that it's not a good idea to analyze 3,000 categories. It will take a lifetime to do that. It's just because Amazon doesn't serve uh, their pages fast enough in order to do that. So I would recommend you know stick around 10 to 20 at most uh, selected categories. But that option is there for you for um, like say for example you can uncheck them off. You're down into a subcategory and you want to just do all these ones. So it'd be you know eight there, so that's where that comes into use. You can also uncheck. Now of course you can check all, which is not really recommended. <laughs> not sure why we had the feature in there anyways, but anyhow it's there. You can uncheck all. Now you can also expand or collapse the selected subcategory, all of them, or you can collapse all or expand all so you can quickly see all the thousands and thousands of categories so let's just collapse them all and probably the most useful feature in here which is very powerful is the ability to be able to search by keyword so there's 37,000 categories it would be nice to be able to search exactly um, and try to find those categories that you're really looking for so let's say you're in the barbecue grill niche for example if you type in grill and then uh, click search. It'll show you all the categories and also highlight or bold the categories that contain the word grill. So you can see here it narrowed it down to only 95. So now you can really pinpoint. And it also retains the category tree. So you can see where it's applied. So if you're in like barbecue grilling, obviously you're not going to go and do um, you know some analysis on grills for automotive or in uh, computers and accessories. You don't want to be looking at grills for computer fans or something like that right or uh, speaker grills right so this is just it, this makes life a lot easier you can imagine how long it would take to go through 37,000 categories trying to pick the one you're looking for so you can also so you can clear that out and you can reload it and it just it works super fast and really well so let's say if we're looking at for anything to do with baby stuff so now it narrows it down to everything that contains baby Another very awesome feature we've integrated here is let's say you have a set of categories that you always love to um, monitor and uh, I do want to say that these all these categories like the best sellers movers and shakers and all that stuff that you see for example this category here these items especially when you're going deep into the actual subcategories these items change hourly like every hour it says right here update it hourly every hour these could change and it's all based on how many sales these particular products get 
So if this product gets a whole bunch of sales all of a sudden in, in like one hour, then boom, it's going to be up number one. So these change all the time. So people that are researching deep categories, so it's a good idea to always research them every day to see what's happening and see what's going on. So let's say you have a set of categories that you love researching for your particular niche all the time. Well, you can go ahead and just select the ones that you're always researching. So I'm just going to go and select some random ones here. And what you can do is you can save those categories to a category file. So you see this little file button down here. Click that and you can save to a category file. And let's go ahead and just save it. And then later on when you're working in here, so let's just reload. And you open up the software. It's like, well, I'm going to go back and do my analysis on my file. Just load your category file that we saved. And boom, there we go. It just shows you only the categories that you saved and it retains the category tree as well where it resides. As you can see, it's not showing any other categories, it's just showing the categories that you selected and the tree that it resides within. So that's a really powerful feature that we've integrated as well. And it makes life a lot easier than trying to search again and or manually go through all those 30, 37,000 categories. And from from what I'm aware of, I don't think there's many other software, if any, out there right now that actually contain all of the bestseller categories within the software. So this is incredibly powerful and it's lightning fast. So that's basically it for the categories and how to work with them and uh, how to save and load category files. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.